I'm fascinated by a question, and I know I'm not the only one. And that question is, what should economies be aimed at? Well, I studied economics at university 20 years ago, and we never actually asked that question, even though it seems like a very fundamental one, because the answer was a given. It was economic growth. Over the past years, though, economic growth has had a, a good ride. Since 1970, it's quadrupled. And if you believe mainstream predictions, it's set to quadruple again by 2050 on the global scale. So economic growth has been doing very nicely in the long-term big picture. And yet, there are some things that we fundamentally care about that aren't coming along with it. And there are three I want to highlight. One, deprivation. Secondly, degradation. And thirdly, inequality. More and more social commentators are talking about the rise of inequality and the importance of tackling it. Two-thirds of the world's population today live in countries that are now more unequal than they were in 1980. And just taking one country as an example, in 2010, the top richest 10% of people in the United States captured 93% of the increase in national income that year. So inequality is really quite extraordinarily at the heart of the way economies are growing. Our politicians know it. We're hung up on talking about economic growth, but because they know that we need more than this, this one lever doesn't really capture everything we care about, they're increasingly trying to qualify what they're calling for with, with extra terms. So uh, Merkel has called for sustainable growth, David Cameron for balanced growth, Barack Obama for long-term lasting growth, Barroso wants the EU to have smart, sustainable, inclusive and resilient growth. And all these terms, I mean, sometimes I feel like I'm walking into a New York deli bar. You know, so many different terms are being added to this idea. It's clear that we want something more than growth. The fact that we want something more than growth, though, shouldn't seem like news. Because when the very idea of national income and its growth was conceived, its inventor warned us that we needed something more than that. In 1934, when Simon Kuznets wrote the first report to the U.S. Congress describing how you could measure national income, he said that the wealth of a nation can scarcely be inferred from a measure of its national income. He gave us that caveat on day one. And no wonder our politicians are searching, grasping for the language that they need to describe where we're trying to go, because growth isn't enough as an idea of what we're trying to achieve. What if instead of starting with economic growth, we start with the fundamentals of what we care about. Everybody meeting their human rights, living within the means of this planet. And then we ask, what kind of economic system would help to take us there? One thing is true. We need to widen our concept of what economic development is far beyond growth alone. So we need to think about investing in the wealth that sustains us, the human wealth, the natural wealth, and the social wealth, because it's from these that everything that we generate in our economy flows. Thank you.